Hello everyone, my name is Sohmit Aj, my number is 19.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
HEVs in the Now, this number by taking T is not very strong, but then we are mapping the values of T to Y by taking Google as code. We have defined the function in Z as the value of Java may be Y if Y is less than the value of the If Y is greater than the value, the value of the will be 4 minus 5. Let's see how to grab the value from this time. This is the continuous time we have found, this is the discrete time we have found. Now coming to some sort of waveform with time flow is equal to 1 millisecond. We have taken think of minus 0.01 to 0.01 and taken increment as 0.0001. We have taken the function as sine of 2 pi into 1000 t. Here we are taking the this 1000. That means the average frequency will be 2 pi by 1 millisecond. That would be 2 pi into 1000. That's why we have taken the function of time flow. Now let's see how the function looks like. This is the sensible function taking in time variables one millisecond. Now coming to the C part of first question, we have to generate three sensible waveforms with frequency values of 100, 250, and 400 Hz and different amplitude values and we have to sketch the output signal. We have created the three sensible waveforms by taking in frequencies as 100, 250, and 500 Hz. We have taken the values of we have taken the arbitrary values as common, points alpha and point five respectively. And now we have to give the output of the output of the LC of all the three signals. We have taken the value signal as y is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3. Now let's see how the S one looks like. This is the output signal, x1 plus x2 plus x3. Now coming to the deep part of first question, uh, similar to the last question, we have to generate two sensible waveforms with different frequency values and different amplitude values. But in this question, we have to sketch the output of multiplication of two signals. We have taken two signals by considering the frequency values as 1.5 and 1000 Hz, and we have taken the amplitude as 1 and 0.5 respectively. Now we have created a new signal y, which is the multiplication of both the signals x1 and x2. Now let's see how the new signal looks like. You see, this is the new signal obtained by the multiplication of the two signals. This is the continuous waveform and this is the discrete time waveform. Coming to the second question, we have to create a MATLAB GUI for the A and B parts of the first question. GUI is nothing but the graphical user interface. This can be done by using app designer. There are many components in the component library. We can use them in the interface. Uh, in this interface, I have used some of the components like this is the label, label component, this is the window button component, this is the access component, uh, button component. These are the text areas, and this is the toggle switch button. Uh, using these components, I have made this interface. In the left panel, we have given all the floating functions, and if we select those and press the clock button, we can get the clock. By using this toggle switch, we can select between the continuous time signal and discrete time signal. Now, to, get, to execute all this, we have to get the code for this. Now, let's go into the code view for this function. This is the code view for our interface, and this is some of the input code for the components we have taken. If the plot button is pressed, we have to plot the graphs uh, for which the button is pressed. And if the in the left panel, if the unit step button is pressed, then, then we have to plot the graph for the unit step, uh, unit step function. So we have written the code for that. And also we have to take into consideration whether the continuous time signal is selected or the discrete time signal. So we are comparing the steps by taking the value from the switch. This can be done by using the syntax SPR CMP. We have done the same for same for the coding functions in return and without the code. Now let's run this code. This is the graphical user interface we have created. We have the uh, we have all the coding functions in the left panel and and the switch for uh, switching between continuous time signal and discrete time signal in the right panel. And we have the access in the middle panel. Now, if we select a unit step function and you want the continuous time signal, now let's press the block button. This is the unit step function. 
it is a continuous time sequence and now if you want the sequence function and we want the discrete time sequence so if you press plot this is the sequence function in the same way we can do for all these 14 functions left hand and right uh, if you want the socket function and we want the continuous time sequence signal if you press plot we get the socket function this is the matlab gui for even the pass of the first question we can we can plot the graphs for all these 14 functions by using this interface thank you